So this is Earthling 6455463728. And how to get over someone. I guess like all of us, you have to get over, we've all had to get over somebody at some point. Whether it's losing a friend, male or female, whether it is losing someone that you care about, or whether it's just someone who dies. Um, I just wanted to recount a conversation that I had with a friend of mine recently, or part of it. Um, So my friend basically, uh, he called me up and he said, um, I think I need a shrink. And um, basically, uh, he'd had an argument with someone. And, you know, I don't know if how it goes for other people, but I'm assuming it's the same, that, that it, it goes for me and it goes for him. You just keep thinking of things that you want to say, that you should have said, how you should have done it, how you should have stood, the looks that you should have given. And you just go over, over, and over, and over. And it doesn't even matter if you come up with the perfect thing that you should have said. The, you can't say it. The moment's gone. It's past. There's no way to get back to it. So you just left feeling inadequate and with no way to resolve whatever the issue is. I mean... I remember things that happened however long ago, decades ago, that, you know, I wish I could have gone back and said this or done that or whatever. And, um, well, I think that I have a solution or something that has worked for me and has worked for at least one other person. And uh, it was something that I tried at some point and it worked. And then I don't think I really used it much after that. I mean, I I told somebody about it and they used it and it seemed to work fine for them. And this is not someone that I'm happy that it worked for them, but it's just that it did. Um, So it really amounts to this. Um, I had a friend and I wonder if I should give the long or the short version of this story. My friend... I guess, thought that I was using him. And at some point, he grew to dismiss me as a friend. So I would see him, and I would say, Hi, how are you doing? And didn't put much effort into, Hey, how are you doing? Any response, if any, at all. And uh, I wasn't asking for anything. At the time, so you know, I, I started off there by saying that I was using my friend. It, it's simple. I would go to his house to maybe play a, a, a game, you know, like a video game. And half the time, not even half the time, most of the time he wasn't there. So, oh well. And the times when he was there, he, you know, if it's a single player game, he really apparently at the exact time that I came really really wanted to play his game so it meant that you know I wasn't really playing his game I was just sparking the interest in his game for him to play it so that I couldn't play it so most of the time was you know that I did go to his house to play this game I I never got to play it anyway so that's where I'm coming from, where in terms of, oh, he might have felt I was using him, except I wasn't. I really wasn't really a, a doing much to his life, affecting his life much at all. So for him to feel that I was beneath him and he didn't need to say, hey, how are you doing, was really very upsetting to me. And um, I felt like I needed to say something, but... At the same time, I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to say it to him, because um, obviously he didn't even want to talk to me. But anyway, what I, I ended up doing was 
pretending to talk to him. I found a quiet place and I spoke to him with words, like, like if I was talking to myself, basically. And uh, he didn't get to say anything because he didn't need to say anything. I didn't need to pretend what his, he was going to answer. Um, I just needed him to hear what I was saying. And that was it. So I remember I did it. And after I was done, I didn't, and that was it. I didn't, I had said my piece and I didn't care what, I didn't care. I lost all, you know, emotion or all resentment or all anger or anything. It just fell away. So the next time I saw him, I really didn't even, I didn't need to say hi. I didn't need him to, ignoring me didn't matter. None of it mattered. So I don't think that I really used that technique much. Um, I may have, but not very much. Not It never was something that I realized, hey, this is what I should do regularly. And even now I'm realizing there are a lot of instances that happen regularly where I could use that technique. For example, like if I have an argument with anybody, I can just shut up. And just go to your toilet and tell them what I need to tell them. And it seems kind of weird to, to say it like that. But yeah, I could on a daily basis or a weekly or monthly basis. I could be doing this so much more. But anyway, um, let's fast forward a while. And uh, I had a girlfriend and I told her about this in conversation. I don't know when it was. But anyway, um, we broke up. She said, hey, let's be friends. I'm like, yeah, that's great. Let's be friends. And nothing. She never contacted me. Um, and, uh, you know, you could say, well, why didn't you call her? But um, my thing is, that doesn't usually go well. Uh, if you see somebody doesn't call you at all, at all, at all, and you're like, hey, well, maybe I should call them. It's not been my experience that that goes how you think that it's going to go. So part of, of what I normally do is if you call and you really are interested in speaking, I will definitely talk to you. Um, but if you don't have that rapport, um, it doesn't help to be the one that initiates you initiates it or even maintains it because that's what you're going to end up being you're going to be the person who is always sustaining the relationship and uh, i don't want that responsibility but anyway um as it turned out she when she did finally call me and i said i thought we were going to be friends her response was well remember that thing that you told me uh well apparently her new boyfriend, didn't want her to talk to me, and she said, remember that thing you told me? Well, I tried it, and it worked. And I wasn't too happy that it worked, but on the flip side, I probably should have been done doing it myself. And that's what I mean, that it was not part of my life. Um, I probably should have had it be a part of my life so that I would have had the same way to not be upset with her about the whole thing. So, yeah. Anyway, um, fast forward to now, and that is something that I really do need to regularly remind myself that I have. And I think a short while ago as well, you know, there were several other instances where I did that, and it worked. Um, so, well, clearly it does. And I think that this is... You know, that's people, we do say, like I said at the beginning, my friend said that maybe he needed a shrink. And maybe it is that that's all that a shrink actually provides. Um, but then, as I'm thinking about it right now, a shrink provides a sounding board, somebody to listen to you. But the shrink never, you know, unless it's a special session, and I've never gone to a psychiatrist or a counselor Unless it's a special session, I don't think they 
and I, I know as much as as anybody else who just watches TV and sees these things de depicted, but um, you don't get to talk to the person that you want to talk to, that you need to hear what you have to say. So you're talking to somebody about it, but that has never worked for me. That's never resolved anything to tell someone about the situation that I'm having. I could tell 10 people and I'll still feel upset about whatever it is. What I needed to do is I needed to be heard. I needed the other person to understand what I was saying and accept it. Even if it was just my feelings about the situation, I just needed to know that they understood it. And when I pretend that I'm talking to them, I get that satisfaction that I can't get from just telling somebody else about it. Because, you know, when, when I say that it's worked for me, it, I mean that I don't need to tell anybody else about the situation. When, you know, I had issues with my girlfriend and then we broke up or different girlfriend, I would have to tell this person, I would tell him again and tell him again and tell this other person. And I, I realized that, hey, um, people are going to be tired of hearing how many times you broke up with her and why you were right and all of this other stuff. But if I, quote unquote, talk to her, then I feel vindicated, validated, whatever the word is. I mean, I know, for example, that let's say you're having a conversation with someone. A lot of times what can happen is you end up repeating yourself because you don't feel that the person heard you. They, unless you can get your words into their mouth, unless you can get your words into their mouth and have them say, you're saying blah, 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 blah. A lot of times you don't feel satisfied. So anyway, guys, um, that's just something that's helped me and hopefully maybe it can help you. So wish me luck. Like, unlike, comment, subscribe, and or share. Thank you. Peace.